Okay, so the Cincinnati draw for both the men and the women just dropped. We're going through the women's draw to start us off. You've got some of the best players of all time playing. You've got a lot of the top 20 playing. In fact, the top 16 seeds are all the top 16 in the world. Let's go to the withdrawals, though, because some big names have pulled out of this event. So here is the withdrawal list. Only a couple of withdrawals at this stage. We have Danielle Collins. She's pulled out. And Angelique Kerber has also pulled out. Not sure why Kerber's pulled out, but Collins has had her injury worries over the time. So those are the two withdrawals. Now let's go to the top of the draw. Starting with the number one in the world, Iga Sviantec. She had a poor week last week, but you know, she's always got another week before the US Open to recover. Buy in the first round. Top eight seeds get a buy in the first round. She'll take on the winner of Stevens versus Cornet. Now remember, Elise Cornet beat Sviantec at Wimbledon. So that is not a fun matchup for Iga Sviantec in the second round, potentially. Then you got Keys versus Putin Seba. Winner of that match takes on Hadid Maya or the number 16 seed, Ostapenko. And again, Sviantec has lost to both Hadid, Hadad Maya and Ostapenko this year. Hadad Maya was last week. Ostapenko was earlier in the year, both on hard court. So third round is not going to get any easier for uh, Iga Sviantec. Very tough start to the tournament. Next section of the draw now, we've got Coco Goff, the number 11 seed, taking on a qualifier. Winner of that match takes on either Tormo or Risk in the second round. Then we've got Rabakina taking on a special entry player who's yet to be determined. Winner of that will play against Muguruza in the second round. So Rabakina continues to be unseated and dangerous at this event because of the lack of Wimbledon points. But interesting to see how it plays out with, uh, you know, maybe Rabakina taking on Muguruza. Possibly the winner of that match plays Goff, you know, and the winner of that, th this section will play against Fiontech. So Goff versus Fiontech, maybe in the quarterfinals. Next section of the draw, we've got Bedosa, number three seed. She'll take on a quali in the second round after a first round bye because we've got two qualies going at it. Then we've got Krejcikova taking on Kudamatova. Winner of that match takes on either Mukova or the number 15 seed, Simona Halep, who's having a great week this week in Canada. So Halep versus Bedosa, possible third round. Uh, Simo, who might be in the top 10 by the next week. Next section of the draw, we've got Bencic, number 12 seed, who's also having a great week. She will play Kostera in the first round. Winner of that match takes on either Teichman or Kvitova in the second round. Then we've got McNally taking on Sasnovich. Winner of that match takes on number five seed Ons Jabur in the second round. So Bencic, the player to watch out for in this section, having a great year, uh, great week this week in Canada as well. Uh, Jabur injured as well. So the top seeds in this section are injured and the lower seeds are having a great week. So uh, in this section of the draw, of course, plays Bedosa's section. So we might get Bedosa versus... Jabur, we might get Heller versus Bencic if we're basing it on form, or as we have seen this week, randomness all round. Okay, bottom half of the draw now, we've got Pagula, who's, again, just like the other two players I mentioned, are having a great week this week. She gets a buy in the first round, but she'll be playing against Andrescu or Georgie in the second round, who are doing a very, uh, having a very tough matchup in that first round. Then you've got Kinepi versus Azarenka. Fun matchup. The winner of that match will play the match of the event. The match of the first round, and I mean, I don't know how it gets much better. Serena Williams taking on Emma Raducanu, the number 10 seed. What a matchup. What does that even look like? I don't know. I don't, I don't have any idea. Generations collide. Champ versus champ. Goat versus prodigy, I guess. I mean, it's. I don't know what that looks like. Anyways, that's happening. We're going to watch it and uh, it's going to be epic. Next section of the draw, we've got Pliskova, the number 14 seed, who's having a great week this week, playing Venus Williams, the number, uh, the wild card there. So again, that's a fun matchup. Then you've got a uh, winner of that match will take in either a qualifier or Mertens in the second round. Then you've got another qualifier taking on Van Utbank. Winner of that match takes on Zachary in the second round. And Zachary taking on Pliskova, we saw that this week. Or, um, and, and, and if, uh, if one of those players wins, Quarter final against Pagula based on form, but you've got, you know, Raducanu, you've got Azarenka, Serena, Georgie, Kinepi, Andrescu. Anyone could get through that Pagula section. Zachary's got the worst draw because those players are, uh, are tough. All right, last section of the draw now. We've got Sabalenka, the number six seed, getting a bye in the first round. She'll take on either Trevison or a qualifier in the second round. So a nice start for her. Then you've got Kennan versus Rogers. Winner of that match takes on either Anissa Moba or the number nine seed, Kazakina in the second round. Now, Kazakin has got a tough draw. Nisimova's tough. She might have to have a replay against Rogers, the player she beat in San Jose only two weeks ago. And then the bottom part of the draw, we've got Fernandez, the number 13 seed, taking on Alexandrova. Winner of that plays either Osaka or Zhang in the second round. So Zhang, we can see there, Fernandez versus Osaka. 
replay of last year's US Open. Uh, then you've got two qualifiers going at it. Winner of that plays the number two seed, Contivate, in the second round. Interesting section. You know, you've got players that are out of form, coming back from injury. You've got players that are question mark over Osaka's fitness, you know, and I, I don't know how this looks, but the winner of this section plays the Sabalenka section in the quarters. So we could be getting a Sabalenka Contivate quarterfinal. We could get a Kazakina Fernandez quarterfinal or anyone else, and this over Osaka. I mean, there's a lot of different combinations. I feel like the bottom quarter of the draw is a little bit more random. There it is, the ladies draw for 2022 in Cincy. And I told you, it was gonna be a mini slam, and it is. And it's got matches that are worthy of Grand Slams and Grand Slam quality and a lot of champions, all that stuff. But uh, let me know down in the comments if you're watching this later or the chat, if you're watching right now, who is going to win in Cincy? Because we just saw Canada that anything could happen. I think everyone picks Fiontech to win because we didn't know anything else. And I don't know, I mean, no one's got an easy draw. No one ever does. I don't know, pick a name. I mean, Halep and Benchich, they're playing well this week, right? Pliskova, pick someone who's playing well. Might be the easiest option. Uh, maybe Sabalenka comes back strong. Maybe we're gonna get a Serena fairy tale or Sviantec comes back, but uh, you know, and, and, and regains her confidence again. Sviantec still probably is the favorite and I'd be picking her. Uh, I'll pick her because I trust her. But man, what a draw. What a crazy draw.